Ukrainian refugees to be projected onto Liverpool's Royal Albert docks. It's been unveiled by the broadcaster Chris Tarrant, who's opened up his own home to a family from Ukraine since the start of the Russian invasion. Our correspondent Victoria Grimes is in Liverpool for us tonight. What's the idea behind the exhibition, Vicky? Oh, well, Elaine, it's a kind of windy here, but a lot of people have turned out already to see this absolutely magnificent portrait, which is being projected onto the wall of the Edward Pavilion just behind me there. And there is a very, very special reason for that. And I'm going to let Lada tell you about it because she is lady in the portrait. Lada, just explain what this is about. Um, well, I'm a refugee from, <laughs> from Ukraine and I came here because of a war. And I came to Wales and um, I started to work for an organization which helps the refugees, Welsh Refugee Council. And National Watery decided to acknowledge our work and work I do and our organization does. Yeah. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> well, you're amazing. You've been very modest because you've helped hundreds and hundreds of Ukrainian refugees yes. since they came yeah. here to the UK to settle into life here. How does it feel to see yourself on the side of the building here? Oh, well, I feel very honored um, yeah. that National Lottery decided to acknowledge the work we yeah. do. and. Yeah, it's very exciting to it's see. It's exciting, yeah. and it looks great as well. It's yeah. a wonderful likeness, and of course, Liverpool's an, an important city for people from Ukraine as well, because of course we'll be hosting the Eurovision Song Contest here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very good, but Liverpool does it for Ukraine, because in Ukraine, obviously, yeah. it can't go on with because of a war. So yeah. we're very grateful that UK yeah. does it for Ukraine this year. Well, we're doing it exactly as you say, doing it for Ukraine yeah. and everybody over there. That is abs absolutely true. Lada, thank you so much. You look absolutely wonderful in that. Let's bring in Chris Tarrant now. Hello. Oh, yeah. You're just hanging around on the Albert Dock tonight, well, Mrs. Tarrant. on my way through going to the pub. That is, that is that girl. I mean, she's playing it down. The reason why yeah. the lottery have chosen her, I've got three Ukrainians living with me. She's brought in over 300 since she's been here. She only came in March after the first week of the war. Yeah. She's an amazing lady. But what a tribute is that? That's the lottery of arranged all that. This huge bit of art. It's much, I don't know. I, I don't know what I expected. They said, would I come and launch it or yeah. cut the tape or whatever? This thing is just huge. It's tremendous, isn't it's it? It's very good. And the darker it gets, yeah. the clearer it gets yeah. and the more beautiful. Tell yeah. us about the Ukrainian family that you've got living with you because oh, I, I know you were telling me before, they pretty much changed your life, haven't they? Yeah, they're the sweetest. I mean, I think I'm lucky because, you know, yeah. not all Ukrainians arriving has been a great success in some houses. I've just got, I've, I've got a mum who's 65. I've got a, a daughter who's about 20 odd uh, and a little baby. Yeah. I love this baby. I said to one of my kids the other day, she's nicer than you were when you were a baby. Oh, dad, don't say that. I don't mean it. I love her, of course yeah. I do, but she's just so sweet. I mean, if she'd stay, because they came racing out of, out of Ukraine, they had about five minutes to get out, grab a passport, go. When, when we finally found them, they were sleeping in the this with a baby, a mum, quite an, you know, an elderly lady and a daughter. They were sleeping on the floor of, of airports in Poland and they came to us. They were very traumatised for a while. I mean, when planes go over, they used to run indoors and said, it's all right, it's you're not going to be bombed, you're really not going to be bombed, yeah. you know? And the husband is still fighting in the Donbass. Yeah. So once in a while he rings and, and when he doesn't ring, they're sort of, they're, they're very worried, worried so. you know? They, they want to go home. But, you know, I've said to him, look, you can go home. I'm not holding you, you know, hostage, but yeah. um, you're safe here, you know? I mean, it's a, I, I don't know, it's just some, you just yeah. feel you have to do something. You do, it's you awful, feel like you sick, evil pictures you see. You think, I can't believe I'm watching this stuff. Well, I think that, you know what, this is a brilliant thing to highlight. Yeah, all of those so. people that we need to keep very much in our minds. It's here till 11 o'clock tonight, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you. Looks fantastic. Thanks very much indeed, Vicky. Next.